Welcome to the Business Finance Bulletin, episode 155. Welcome to the latest Business Finance Bulletin with me, Rob Warlow from Business Loan Services, the commercial finance expert. In this bulletin, startup loan hotspots, new interest rate comparison tool and rising cost concerns. I'm sure you'll agree with me, if you can think back to when you were a startup, one barrier to really getting your business off the ground was getting finance. Well, it's great to hear that there are lots of entrepreneurial startup hotspots across the UK. And some news have just come out from the startup loans company as to where these hotspot cities are, which are the ones that are grabbing some of this money available from the startup loans company. Now, first of all, let me just tell you the startup loans company, it's a government supported organisation. As it says on the tin, it's there to help loans for startups. And they've just released some analysis of their uh, loans that they've given out in 2016. Now, outside of London, they've taken a look at which are the cities where entrepreneurs are really taking advantage of these loans. And outside of London, the number one city taking the top spot is Birmingham. Congratulations to Birmingham. So they are the ones who are grabbing most of the money outside of London. In fact, they had £2 million worth of loans from the startup's loans company. And this follows hot on the heels when Cornwall with £1.3 million. But what was interesting, a lot of cities in the north, the likes of Durham, Sheffield, Leeds and Manchester, all featuring highly in the top 10 of businesses grabbing that money from the startup loans company. The fastest riser was Durham. They saw a massive 243% increase in the amount of money borrowed at 1.2 million compared to the amount borrowed in 2015 of about 355,000. So we can see a massive jump there and well done to Durham. So what can you do if you're a startup? Well, of course you can pop along to the uh, startup loans company website, which is Startup Loans. .co.uk and there you'll find details on how you can access startup loans. When you're going out searching for a product or service, I'm sure that one thing you do is to go out there and compare prices just to make sure that you are getting the very best deal. Now, in terms of finance, sometimes this can be difficult. The reason being, many lenders are unregulated because the commercial lending sector is not regulated by the FCA, the Financial Conduct Authority. And so there are different ways of actually quoting interest rates. So, for example, you can have the APR, which is the annual percentage rate. You could be quoted interest rate on a yield basis or also something called the factor rate. But because all of these are different, it is hard to compare like by like. So you're not actually sure whether you're getting the very best deal. Well, in order to increase transparency um, in the business loan market sector, Fleximize, which is a short-term loan provider, has developed an online comparison tool. It's a really useful tool for you to be able to compare apples with apples. Um, the, the tool is very simple. All you have to do is put in the amount of money you're borrowing, uh, the term, and then selecting the type of interest rate you're being offered, whether that's APR, yield, or factor rate. It then calculates what the real interest rate is so you can compare like with like. It's a great tool and really useful just to make sure that you are getting the very best deal. If you want to check out that calculator, just go along to the Fleximize website, which is Fleximize, as F-L-E-X-I-M-I-Z-E, dot com forward slash rate dash comparison dash tool thanks to there to the Fleximize team a great idea to make sure everybody is getting the very best interest rate deal Well, after those two bits of positive news, I think we've got to kind of laden it a little bit with some doom and gloom. So let's take a look at a survey out from Bibby's Financial Services as part of their regular SME confidence tracker surveys. Um, they've looked particularly this time at costs and it's one of the key concerns that many businesses have. Um, as you know, we're entering into probably a, a period of increasing inflation and 22% of small businesses surveyed said that their top concern is rising costs. And of course, the big question, when and how much do I pass on to my customers? 
The manufacturers in particular are the ones who are standing out here. And manufacturers top concerns? Well, yeah, number one, 29% of them say they are concerned by rising costs. Following on from that, 18% of them say they're concerned about rising competition and 11% of them are concerned about our old friend late payment. But what about um, investment appetite? As we know, when a business buys something, that money filters its way all the way down into the UK economy. Well, investor appetite in order to invest in new machinery is on the wane. And they estimate that over the businesses surveyed, they say that over the next quarter, they're looking at investing £49,237 into their business. That compares to in quarter two, 2016, when it was just over £101,000. So we can see there is quite a steep fall there in uh, appetite in order to invest in new plants and equipment and the business generally. But it's not all doom and gloom. No, it's not. There's a survey come out by Hitachi Capital and they found out that 59% of businesses said that post Brexit they are anticipating doing more business in the UK in 2017. And that compares with just 20% thinking they're going to do more business in Europe. So there is a lot of positivity out there and a lot of businesses saying, well, do you know what? We're just going to plow our own path. We're going to get on with growth and boosting our business. Well, that's it for another bulletin. And as ever, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please give it a like and a share. Don't forget, if you're on the video version, you can also download the podcast version um, to listen to at your leisure, available on iTunes, SoundCloud, and Stitcher. Just search for Business Finance Bulletin. Well, thanks very much for being with me. Look forward to being with you next time. Have a great, successful, and profitable week. Bye-bye now.